Hey Van, hey Furwick. Sorry, I went to go check on the Instapot. Um, so I made chili and it finally acted right. Yeah, I made chili in the Instapot, so. I uh, bought a bunch of groceries before I decided to YOLO and go go to London next week. So now I really got to cook all this food and freeze it. But as with the pressure cooker, I had to let the steam out. I also needed some water because, oh my God, have I been drinking too much caffeine? With pleasure. Oh, I thought I lockpicked this before I logged out earlier. Oh, well. How was your day for a wreck? How are you, Van? Ooh. Oh yes, give me all of that food. Hey, Apis. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I decided to uh, pick up where I left off because I got really sucked into uh, I got really sucked into the story earlier and uh, I was like oh shit I should really leave because I have to log into work Yes, first we must loot everything. Like running in the street run? Oh, yeah, the morning streams are usually if I feel like it. Like tomorrow, I may not stream in the morning because I've got a early webinar like well early in that unless I'm up super early I don't want to try to stream and then be on a webinar at 10 30. you know also I have no idea what's over there excuse me oh dope I didn't go to the gym. I've I've really fallen off of going. Oh, I don't want to consume it. Also, is it safe to consume? Oh, I know where I'm headed. I don't like this idea. I also want to make sure I pill for everything. Hey, Mandy, how are you? Ooh, loot. Ew, rotten food. Oh, can't take that one. Uh, and mods only, let me know how audio is. Melissa. Ooh. Oh my god, there's so much beer just laying around. So fun un unfun fact. 
when you apparently I uh Ew, ow. That crate cheese was really disgusting. It was moldy, Melissa. Please don't eat the crate, the moldy crate cheese. Oh, and I've got to I'm gonna send those to Minthara because she does have a bow. Um, I don't have anything to let me speak with dead, so I'm gonna keep that. Send those to Gail. Keep those. We really need to find We really, really do need to find Resonance Stone. No, that was moldy cheese. That was not a camp supply. That was just gross. Okay, I think we've gotten everything. And now we leave. Hey, Kate. Um, so far, so good. This is my... So, it's a weird answer because I have... Um, played this game over 300 hours in early access um, and I'm currently playing as a starian and uh, I've even split that run into two because I um if you must chatter with everyone before we go, do be quick. The city awaits. Oh my god, it's starting to calm down. Oh, here's a fight with a gif Yankee. Oh, is this a ho oh house of healing? Let's check this really quick. So I basically came in, fought with everybody, and left. Uh, so just a heads up, this is my play where I recruited Minthara, killed all of the... I killed all of the druids and the tieflings. I'm just going to let you stand there. Oh wait, you only have 48 hit points. You can die. Ready and willing. I don't know why Gale is so maxed out. Oh, must be an enemy. Okay, I can't just, I can't just indiscriminately kill them. Okay. But it's stealing if I go in there. Okay, that's blood. That's gross. One step at a time. Uh, I may have gotten everything out of here. Maybe. Oh yeah, they're they're dead. What's in here? See, that's a moldy lemon. Why? Why is that an option? I think I killed him and then just turned around and left. 
But I'm getting to the end much faster than I thought. Because I think a lot of stuff got cut off by choosing a Minthara. I do have Jahira now, and what's her face? Oh, you're so welcome. Oh my god, I called you Kate. I'm so sorry. I looked quickly and read Cat as Kate. I'm so sorry. You're welcome. It makes you very OP, though. Um, you know Merkel? The actual factual god of death? I took him out in one round with Gale with this mod. Let's see. Yeah, Gale basically gets two free attacks. Well, you're about to see it in action. Gale. Why do you... Okay, this is weird. Suddenly he needs to... Okay, that's weird. Hey, Leela, how are you? Okay, I do not understand not enough movement. Normally? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, same. Thank you. I don't know why I suddenly started sneezing. Really? You really, you really missed. Okay, I'm gonna give... Where is... Apparently. Oh, thank God. Because you were... Oh, no, you can't do that. You... You doofus. Not me forgetting. Yeah, I'm not sure what's... Oh, you know what? Unleash me. It's probably the chili that is cooking. Because I put so much paprika in it. Rude. Hey, Layla, how are you? Uh, for those who don't know or haven't followed Layla, she's got a character in Humankind. Uh, Leela, if you want to talk about your character, feel free. This is what I mean. Gale's so fucking healthy. Oh, you used last right? Excuse me? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it's like that. Dope. I missed. They had 73 hit points. Can I use Blight up there? Damn, I can't use Blight. Damn, can I put the fear of God in you? 
Okay, I guess. Yo, get that athletics. Oh, I want to use Shatter, but they're too close to me. You're not too close to me, though. What do you mean they're out of sight? They're right there. Does he have blindness? I have disadvantage on attack rolls, for real. I hate this. Oh, hi, pirate. How are you? How was your day? You can get fourth level, because now I'm just irritated. You missed, you heifer. I swear to God. I thirst for combat. How did you have a? Nice, how's it going? Okay, make up your mind. This is the one thing I don't like. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like real D&D. People take 20 years. Oh, wait, how did you find a spectator at level three? Where were you? As the only, there's two places I know there are spectators and you shouldn't have found them at level three. Okay. Y'all are getting on my last fucking nerve. Ah, uh, that explains it. That explains everything. Did they counterspell me, you son of an Antivan bitch? I might cuss a lot. Ooh. And I can't leave a star in because he's got the fucking lamp. Shatter. Oh. Uh, yes. Hey, Tech. Yes. Uh, this is this one is balanced. Yes. I need you. Oh boy. Oh no, we need level three to just actually hit them. Blessings. Thank you for biddies. First off, you need to heal everybody. Secondly. Oh, that was a zero. Dope. 
I hate that water does what it's supposed to do. You knocked him down. Oh no, you can't be rallying people. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna need Gale to show how OP he is. Not him just laying in the water. Oh. Hey, yeah, Brianna, how are you? Damn, girl, can I like... I'm gonna send that to camp, I'm gonna send that to camp. Uh, Brianna's gotten back into streaming. I'm trying to pick them up, I wanna loot them. Game, like, why do you think I'm trying to take someone? Uh, can I get a shout out for Udahime as well? Uh, oh, Brianna, did did you need, or I should say, do you want Dark any help so long ago in service of Shah with Catherine. modding? Setting up mods, and do you have people in mind? Because guess what I found out that I wasn't doing? You can book a room in the fucking hotel that you first find when you finally get into the city. I was wondering where people were getting these nice ass room shots during cutscenes. Oh, there's nothing up here. Uh, Pirate, correct me if I'm wrong, but you are not streaming the rest I of the week, right? I clear of this damn shadow curse. I like darkness, just not when it's trying to kill me. Brianna, I'm gonna fuss at you. It's not about bothering people, it's keeping you and your channel safe. It looks like a horde stomped past here. It sure did. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to be sure. <gasps> to Baldur's Gate. Okay, hold on. What do we have left? Head west. Head... I am not eating tadpoles this time. Okay, Baldur's Gate. Casador. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Okay, does anyone know, and I'm actually asking, the last light in what you're supposed to do? Because I have checked every inch of that place and nothing. Okay, everything is at water, is at Baldur's Gate. Because I am very confused by the... Investigate the selenite resistance. Unless it's a bug or I fucked up. But also, what is over here? Hey, Faison. Oh, that's right. Normally you have to talk to the cat and the chef, don't you? Oh my God, nothing was pointing me that way. You have to go through the kitchen. I forgot, how the fuck do you get there? Mm -hmm. 
uh, investigate the last slide in. I forgot entirely about the basement because I did things very out of order with this. Um, I forgot about it because I didn't do everything I was supposed to. I absolutely, uh, I didn't come here and talk to Isabel. I 200% ew. Okay. Wait, bread encumbered me? Are you for real? Oh, my camp supplies. Those can go to camp. I found it on purpose last time. Oh my God, I have so many scrolls. And the dog collar. Right. Um, those will go to to Lazelle once I'm here. Yeah, so I didn't do any of the um Let's see here. I didn't come here. Like the guy you're supposed to wake up died. So that's why the shadow curse is still here. Um I don't think I came down here at all. Wow, all of you failed your survival checks. How have you made it this far in life? I've got a random non-stream non related question, but it made me think of it because of all the food you pick up. For those of you that like chili, whether it's meat chili, vegetarian chili, do you put beer in your chili? And if so, what kind of beer? Don't mind if I do. Because I thought about putting in half a bottle of Modelo, but I wasn't sure if it was too light of a beer. Oh, a stout isn't too... Well, stouts wouldn't be sweet. What kind? Like Guinness or something? Well, the beer taste... The alcohol is going to usually cook off. Because my Instapot decided... Oh my god, I did all that for... I did all that for one vial of acid. Really? Um... Now I wonder because I needed to add more liquid, but I don't usually drink dark beer. All I had was all I have is some Modelo, which is a lighter beer. It's a, more of a lager. But I've also got um, okay. Well, there's nothing in here. Let's have to stack of crates. And I've seen some recipes that call for beer in chili. I'm just not usually one for it. But I didn't want to add just water. But since I didn't have a dark beer, I just went for water. Um, so on the chili setting, it got way too hot, way too fast, apparently. And I had this before, but I thought it was because I was using really lean meat. Where it'll be like, burn, food burn, burn notice. Oh, what's this up here? Uh-huh. That would be the exit. Um, and it was just weird because 
the last time I made chili in the Instapot. Can you misty step up there? No. All right, I'm confused. And it's, it's only like the beer. It was only, um, okay. I'm very confused. This is the only door I haven't gone in. Um, it happened before I was making chili, but I was using bison and bison is very, very lean compared to ground beef. And I even like put in the liquid first and then the meat. Hmm. All right, this may be one where I just need to give this up. No, I was getting it from Butcher Box. No Furwick, no. Oh, apparently Asterion has a has a line if you give have him eat the spoiled treacle tart. Uh I guess I gotta go back outside. I am stumped. It's like the damn emperor. I guess I gotta go back outside, damn. Oh, bison's great. Um, if you if you are someone who eats meat, Butcher Box does offer ground bison by the pound. Um, if that is your thing. pirate whenever you visit again there's a bunch of vegetarian places that have popped up in my neighborhood oh really huh yeah there's like a vegan taquera that's opened all right i'm lost i don't know where else to look for this i am legit fucking lost Okay, because this is going to bug me. Uh, embargo lifted if you know where the fuck this goes. Or how to investigate the last light in. Because I've done everything. Yeah, it's where a sushi place was. Because when you were here, we didn't get to walk around the neighborhood very much. Oh, there's... There's blast mines. So I'm thinking about it. I was actually thinking about putting a cup of macaroni in and adding a little more water or some more tomato sauce. What? Well. Basically making a chili mac instead of just chili. I'm going to go back here and just fire on those. Oh my god, that was so much easier than wasting a disarming kit. I have no idea where this area is. I don't think I've ever been back here. Rather a rustic burial. But I suppose it's better than no burial at all. And you would know, wouldn't you, Astarin? Why are we bothering graves? Why? 
Uh, why are we bothering graves? Hello, Duchess. How are you? A leer. I just feel a way about desecrating graves. Oh, you can see the army from here? Interesting. I don't think I've ever come back here. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, I don't think I've ever found this area. Wow, you and Zero both. Oh good, the fish is not rotten. That means I'm just carrying a loose fish in my bag. Hmm. What's that? Cause I sent my camp bag to you. Mm. I definitely need that. Oh, arrow is solving. I'm going to keep. Well, this is where you normally, this is where you normally would, uh, um, Uh, this is where you normally would uh, do that damn mission with Halson. <laughs> Sir, I need you to look this way. Why are you why are you all acting like this is a school photo? Seriously. I'm very excited for my YOLO fuck it I'm going to London trip next week yeah I finally got mods to work cat um, I think I need a script extender Because I stopped having all the crashes and other things after a friend told me about script extender because a lot of mods apparently need it and they don't tell you. So not just mod fixer, but script extender made not just mods work, but the game is very smooth now. One thing is, I don't have a lot of mods like some people do that are like um, changing the basics of the game. All right, I am stumped. I don't know what to do with. I don't know where to go with this. It's just showing me the same spot and I can't get under the camp. If I could go under, that probably would work. But I found no way all the way under. And see, that sends me right back. Oh, it, oh, how do you get back here? Wait a minute. Hold on. How the fuck do you get back there? I'm gonna go back. Maybe you have to misty step. Maybe you have to misty step over there. Huh. 
huh? Be careful. There are traps around. Oh my god, I hate this. Yeah, one of uh one of our friends discovered that the reason her All right, be safe. Um the reason her model's head kept separating from the body was because Are you for fucking how are you supposed to find this? How were you supposed to find that? Okay. Lathander, take the wheel. Kind of concerned that they're giving me well. What in the absolute fuck? Excuse me? I'm sorry, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, what kind of chicanery is this? Okay. Okay. I am confusion. Okay, embargo lifted. Does anyone know what the entire fuck is happening over here? Oh wait, there's a door. <clears throat> hey, 
Yeah, BB. How are you? Oh wow, my voice is uh oh. My voice is going out. The what now? The Calstown bright lights. Any flame or illumination will help. Mandy. Look to Queen Six. Oh, that's how we get up there. How are you, Habibi? Oh, it's a mean lock. What the absolute fuck is this? Where am I? Y'all, this is all new. It is a fight, yes. Alright, I'm immobile. But I still got fire. Oi. I don't know, Mandy. I need to Google them. Can you, can you do me a favor and Google them? Oh, that's right, they don't like light. Oh, how you like that daylight though? You get dash as a bonus action. I've never heard of mean locks at all. You've got eight billion scrolls on you, bro. Did they just counterspell me? I'm concerned. What the fuck are these things? Oh, okay. I've, uh... This thing has me afeard. Let me strike. Not quite two thousand, but maybe two hundred. He's wearing a very OP mod. Oh. Milocs are deformed fae that originated from intense fear. 
They had no purpose other than to destroy good and beauty. And resorted to telepathic torture in order to terrify and corrupt other creatures. Anyone who succumbed to this torture would then be magically transformed into a mean lock. Huh. Well, shit. God damn it. Oh, wait, are you the last one? You are. Goodbye. Oh, enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Oh, we have to the helm. We must go. Uh, we found also us. Our little, uh, brain puppy that you first encounter on the ship uh, I need to rest. The sunset can't come quickly enough interesting oh and this is going to be real interesting considering the shrine to Saluna I might have sneered at this once or tried to destroy it well Yes. It can devour intellect. But yes, look at it. It's corrupted now. Poor baby. It is corrupted. Um, some people find it cute. I found it much cuter. when uh when we first encountered it make it hurt no one yeah so when you find us help it has been uh kind of recaptured to a colony and apparently they've been experimenting on it um, that's why it says lobotomize. Oh, we shouldn't be down here. One with the weave. Yeah, I'm gonna need you. Do your best, Anders. Target must be an enemy. Cool, cool, cool. With ease. And it's on fire. Um, anything over here I should look for? So you did all that just to get one book. One book about Saluna. That was way too much work for one book, just just so we're clear. Ew. All right, now what is this new? The Mason's Guild. Can't show it on the map because it's in Baldur's Gate. 
All right, bye. I hope you had a good session at the gym. So that was a lot. I've never done that before, and it seems like a lot just for a book. Now I think we should rest. And then we'll go to Baldur's Gate. To Baldur's Gate, we must go. Because I know the first night when you sleep near Baldur's Gate, you get that good Yankee attack. Try. I am not trying to do all that. Oh, wait, 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 Gail. No. Let's move. Oh, wait. Where is Shadowheart? She should talk to Aelin. I'd better do the talking. Dame Aelin. Excuse me. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Feel my voice rattle oh, interesting. as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. All right, I thought I would get different. Options as Shadowheart. So going into Baldur's Gate, all right, does anyone want to talk to me before I end the day? If I must. Wow, Astarian. Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Pray, ask, and I will tell. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he... Come. So I I'm skipped going him. to the last light in entirely and avoided that fight. You set Aelin free. And me. <laughs> not on purpose. Or not with the intent to deceive. I've been trying to make sense of it all. Ketherick Thorne is... was my father he raised me to serve saluna as my mother rest her soul had wished he was everything to me all my life when an emissary of saluna came to our little town we were elated dame aelin daughter of the moon maiden herself tell me do you believe in love at first sight wow Guilty. The moment I looked at Aelin, I just knew I had to be with her. 
I was hers. That was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how, why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then huh. my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. Wow, who came up with these snarky ass answers, man? I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now, said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Oh, could only Sam. Run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, and my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. Aww. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. Sorry, I just, I'm full of feels. Samantha Beart. Beart. Uh... Shared my go live tweet. It's all out I really hope now. I get to meet them when and I'm in London dead, next week. I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality <coughs> too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be... I know, just... Everyone that I've got to uh, chat with that is part of the cast and crew has just been so lovely. I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, I will aid you hey, if Brian, I can. Hey, Brian, ¿qué tal? Alright, let's talk to everybody and then sleep and then we're getting the fuck out of here. I've been lied to. Oh no. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. She's gonna have different hair in the morning. Gail, how many conditions do you have? Good lord. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I do anything to help? Whatever you need, you only have to ask. There's nothing that would give me greater pleasure. Aw. 
the blood weave brain rot is absolutely real. You wish to consult me? A true soul came to my city preaching a message of togetherness, accompanied by two novices. Menzo Baranson is uh, not fertile ground for such messages. Yeah. I and hanged their bodies in my garden. Jesus, Minthara. I would have picked prettier corpses if my intentions had been aesthetic. Wow. This was a warning against heresy. I was not content with the warning, though. I intended to wage war on their insolent god. Jesus. And the rest of its followers. Even as the flesh sagged and sloughed away from their eyeless skulls, their audacity infuriated me. I had to know where they came from. And whoever sent them was counting on my curiosity overcoming my caution. Indeed. A man you know all too well. General Ketherick Thorne. You mean the dude we just killed? The dead cough up their secrets just as well as the living. All it took was a simple act of necromancy, and the corpses told me where I needed to strike. Moonrise Towers. No. I was prepared for combat, but I intended to strike subtly. As it turned out, to my shame, I was defeated without even drawing my weapon. I came to Moonrise with a retinue of warriors and assassins, the best House Bane Ray had to offer. I expected a battle, but found a fully laden feast table and a welcome befitting a house matron. <sighs> Ketherick expected us, expected me, and I fell for his flattery. It is a mistake I hope never to repeat. Ketherick proposed an alliance between Moonrise and Menzo Baranzen. I admit I was captivated by him. He invited me to the head of his table as his guest of honor. I was wary, of course. If I had been in his position, the food would have been poisoned. It was not the food I should have been wary of. It was wow. the pale woman at the foot of the table. Orin the Red. We had barely begun to eat when she spoke for the first time. I only caught one word, my name. Then, quick as lightning, she climbed onto the table, a dagger in each hand and skipped toward me, slicing the throats out of my men as she passed them. Jesus. Few things frighten me. Orin is one of them. Okay. Ketherick held me still, his hand on my shoulder, the grip tight enough to crack the bone. When Orin stood before me, she touched the dagger to my eye, drawing out a tear of blood. I want this one, she said. Ketherick nodded his permission, and I was taken below. Oh no. You've seen the horrors of the colony. Orin kept me there for days. She forced me to watch as my men were processed. Oh, God. Some for food, others as thralls. And then she placed the tadpole in my eye herself. Holy shit. That is certain. You know the rest as well as I do. There were massacres before the grove, religious communities mostly. Those who refused to convert. Then there was you, and now there is freedom. Ooh. 
Soon there will be vengeance. Mandy, were you still there when uh, Minthara asked us the hard questions? All right, I'm gonna leave y'all for a hot second while I go pour myself a bowl of the chili that I can smell in this room. Um, so if you were in this game, would you become a true soul if the opportunity presented itself? Yes, no, and why? I'll be back in a couple minutes with some chili.
Yes, if you are a true soul, you do get the brain worm. So, oh, no worries. Uh, oh, uh, the opera geek who also streams. She had a weird problem where faces, um, so basically hair was like coming off of the head and it looked like, it basically looked like she was almost beheaded as she walked around. Um, oh, we got the shadow heart. We got the shadow heart hair. And she discovered it was like Dragon Age where if you had a hair mod, the texture always had to be on ultra. So like Dragon Age Inquisition, if you had hair mods, your textures are always had to be set on ultra, no matter what the mod was. Otherwise it wouldn't display properly. It is as we knew. My people have turned their blades against us. They will emerge from the shadows and descend from the skies, and we will grant them their only just fate. Death. Okay. <gasps> we got Shadow Heart to change. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Okay, that happened. Which means she should not be in just to see her armor. What's next? Her portrait didn't change though. Okay, she should be in something else. She can't wear heavy armor. But she shouldn't be in just a sear plate. Okay. Just check for anything useful. Okay. We have so much armor. She can't wear ring mail. That's interesting. say I mean if I had not seen it on a friend's stream I wouldn't know that her hair changed um And she can't wear Catherick's armor. But she loses five. Oh, 
Oh shit, I could wear it. But we're gonna put that... We're gonna put that away. There has to be better selenite armor somewhere. She can't wear heavy armor. How it goes, DC? How's your evening? Why? Why are those... Why are those not in your backpack? Okay, I also need to fix up Minthara. She's carrying most of our heavy stuff. Oh my god, just let me... Gail is barely carrying anything. Jesus age. Why are you, why do you not have much on you? She needs the amulet of restoration. I'm gonna put, oh actually no. Gail is a sweetheart. Yo, I have so much to sell. Also, she should have saloon spear. I think I can get rid of the moon lantern once I... Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out her outfit. Because the Dark Justicia armors is 16 AC. I'm a doofus. I'm an absolute doofus. I didn't mean to pick that up, but sure. Yay. I've got chili I made, but it's a bit watery. Because I needed to add some more water to keep it from scorching. There's a plus six AC ring. One of these has a plus six AC on it. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember where the... What I did with the ring that gives her... I love that it's a tiny box. Why? Why, game? Sorry, I know I have a ring that will increase her AC and it is going to bug me. Oh, I've got Moonbeam now. Okay. 
Okay, okay. And now we need to go into turn-based mode. Yeah, yeah. Funny thing is, I can just keep spamming this. I know there's one that gives plus six to all stats. You know what, it may be in that basket. Sorry, I know this probably is not very exciting. Yes. Oh my god, I forgot how to use it. This is not easy to figure out, good lord. Not what I wanted, but okay. Here we go, here are the rings. I knew there was something that would give her like ridiculous AC. Yep, there's the ring of ability score. Cause I'm gonna sell all that shit. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Now, the only other thing I'm looking for is the, is the, if there's dark armor of Salune. 
Sorry, y'all. I know this is probably not super exciting. But... Oh, that's broken. Okay. I always worry that it's boring, you know? Okay, that's more Char armor. This feel like there is a there's a dark version of the Saluna robes, unless I'm absolutely wrong. I hate the bard outfit so much. Like, deeply, deeply hate it. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm probably gonna be encumbered if I'm not careful. Here it is, Saluna robes. That's what I was actually looking for, okay. Oh. Absolutely not what I was looking for. Yeah, I didn't mean to make her pantsless. Whoops. That's what I was looking for. Um. Nah. I don't know why I did all that, because I'm probably going to just die it anyway. Because somebody basically made, like, the equivalent of Vanta White. And Vanta Black in the game. There we go. Now you're a proper Selenite. All right, there we go. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, I need to figure out why you still have all of this stuff. Oh, I know, I just want to be mindful that, you know, that may not be interesting to everyone. So let me get rid of some of this extra stuff. Because we are all carrying way too much stuff. Well, Starion's going to sell most of this.
That is sickening. Oh, if I change him out of the white robes, though. Oh my god, you are like a walking arsenal. Why? Just got those. All right. He is. All right, we're going to Baldur's Gate, y'all. Subtle steps. Hey, Nero, how the hell are you? All roads lead to Baldur's Gate. Ethric is defeated. The path ahead clear. You should be elated. The sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. How are you, Nero? I feel that. So, I found out the hard way that without Halson, it, you don't clean up the shadow curse. Mandy, please clap. I fed myself two days in a row and cooked. Sergeant. If you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure. Preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. <laughs> Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord. But there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your uh, plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow. And tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. 
My blades will thirst again. I love this too. Uh, we try not to use insane or other or crazy. Aww. I wonder where the fan fan idea that Gail does all the cooking comes from. I have you played it, Nora, Beyond or the no? Campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence. One sleep away. Baldur's Gate. This feels like it should be an end. Oh, Manthara. Don't linger. Right, does not feel like it should be an ending shot. No more radiant sight than that of someone who's learned to love themselves. Ooh, that was close. Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. Oh, nice. Oh, what did you do? What did you do, Nero? Did you have spicy scenes? Did you have spicy scenes on your flight? There's nothing that would give me greater pleasure. Oh, you spicy calamari. Well, that's okay. So did I. Not in this run. Because Gail is very monogamous. Gale is painfully monogamous. Although I had a bug in my first run and he was still poly with me. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. And will, but, um, spoiler, this is my terrible run where, uh, Will and Carlac left. No one tells Samantha. Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. That's right, I don't have the dog or the owlbear. Well, aside from um, the, the spicy calamari, are you actually romancing someone? Oh no, is Lazelle gone again? <gasps> that means they're gonna. St Oren's gonna kidnap Gail. God damn it. Ah, <gasps> oh, what did he say? Oh, there won't be a chance to romance Mizora. Where the fuck are our beds? Correct. Now, apparently, someone has found a very um, convoluted way to polymorph Minthara, keep her a sheep. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. 
absence rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the chosen of the dead three. They mean to use it to take control of the sword coast. All who Interesting. carry the temple are governed by the brain and by extension the chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral. Prison. So I haven't drank from anyone. The mysterious visitor inside of it. With his help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to I don't know, the Mandy. Death tree. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. You know servitude better than anyone. You've been denied freedom for nearly two centuries. And are denied it still. You are hungry. Beyond blood, beyond lust, beyond your unliving life itself. Will you liberate the true souls from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Ooh. swims hot at the very prospect. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Come on, get those crunches in. Get those crunches in. Here we go. That's a bad screenshot. We're under attack. Help me. Step to it. Where is your misty step? Oh wait, you can fly, never mind. Oh, perfect. We didn't even actually get to sleep, y'all. The fuck? Okay, these monks say nothing to fuck with. Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. I'ma need you. Over here. To stop talking. Oh, monks are horrific. Wait, didn't she get granted fly? Oh, it probably doesn't count because she got knocked down. God damn it. But I can dimension door.
fresh orders. Come on, Misty, step out this bitch. At your command. Oh, I've got a I've got a monk tav. are terrifying in this game. Attack. Come. We are rested enough. Don't touch me. I want to know how I have so little HP. Goodbye. Farewell. Okay, I'm sorry, but how am I attacking her? It's not over. Come to the skull. Hurry. I can't hold them back alone. I need to understand that. Yeah, the only problem with doing that is you do... <gasps> Ooh, brain puppies. You do, um, lose so loot. Not over. Come um, to the I need you now. Oh my god, shut up. Dear Jesus. Who's next? It's not over. Come to the skull. See, here's the problem for me. Is that I now have player skull. knowledge, Come to the skull. and it irks me. Got to press on because I know the truth about the guardian. A long way from Waterdeep. Let's explore. Excuse me, that was unplanned for and rude. I'm sorry. Help me. Be careful. I bite. I bite. Watch your back. Oh, hold on. This is going to be a fight. Uh, and I'll probably call it because it's already 9.15. Or maybe not. I don't know. Considering my downstairs neighbor likes to fucking bang on the floor <laughs> I 
Ew. I think Yania saw this earlier today. So question. If you defeat him now, what ha if you attack him now, what happens? As I've never fought him, I've never fought back. But if he's in the final fight against you, it actually makes it a little harder. I'm going to attack and see what happens. Oh. Without me, you will perish. Yeah, I, I saved. Oh shit, we fight him right now. About that. All right, I'm going to let it die and see what happens. Oh, this is interesting. I'm going to let it die and I'm going to reload. Uh, CW, if you don't mind. Oh, no. So don't let the Emperor die. Join me. Throw. Holy shit.
What's happening? Well... Well, that happened. Now, help me. Now, what happens if I attack but still... I deeply dislike this. Damn, how many key points are you burning? Sweet Jesus. My victims await. How are you this bad? No mercy. What?
Alright, Gail, quit fucking around. Flayer. Yes. Without me, All about you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. You may call me the Emperor. An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one. To be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. So you should kept your ass at home. started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet... But how did he know they were a criminal? We formed a partnership. And through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though, of course, they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He told me from my home and brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. knows no bounds to enslave me that was his nature but to enslave an elder brain a questionable decision mm. i shall look forward to sharing his mm. downfall with you rather them than potential future allies i mean i'm kind of a criminal myself Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. I should have brought Lazelle, and I knew this His was coming. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' mother to bring about the fall of the Alithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother Zerba took her place. Blackith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Mm. Blackith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince, and if they had succeeded, I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. A very good question. 
one that I have been unable to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackith. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. And that Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible to explain. But it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. There may come a time when that is necessary. Hmm. But there is no guarantee that his power would survive his passing. The risk is too great. The moment his protection is gone, you would become enthralled to the Elder Brain, just as I would. We may look different, but to the Elder Brain, we are already the same. Thralls in its design. You are already more illithid than you realize. Oh my god, leave me alone. Proved you. you seek to reverse an inevitable process. A process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elder Brain, I too railed against the change. But the longer I have inhabited this form, the more it has grown on me. Even if my original body remained intact after I transformed, I would not return to it. Doing so mm. would only impose limitations. Kind of. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too no. embrace this change. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace nope. your latent Alithid potential. Mm -mm. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle. While continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. The Emperor's really out here like, let me upgrade you. Uh, I'm going to leave y'all for a hot second just so I can get a quick bio. And uh, we're not doing the tadpole because I've seen what it looks like when you embrace the tadpole. No, thank you. But BRB.
Got a bit of a stretch in while I was up anyway. Because uh, sitting in the same chair all day means your back is unhappy. Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with a lipid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what do you want most in the world? I don't. I felt that. I don't. It's your nature. You cannot fight it. So embrace Mandy. it. Are you are you really trying to push the tadpole agenda? It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. I like how you sideways look at Gail like, hi, honey. No. Doing a quick save just in case. Cause, mm mm. Oh shit, I need a 21. Well, oh my God. One more and then I'm reloading. What in the absolute fuck? No, thank you. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, we're reloading. Absolutely not. I don't know what's going on. I've never had all three. I've never had four rolls in a row fail. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commute with the tadpole, nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane, cocooned here for millennia. It has become extraordinary. You absolute horror! Yep. Do you know how hard it was to find that? To cultivate it to be safe for communion? Waste. Utter waste. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain, and bring it under our control. And in all of this, I still have not gotten any fucking sleep. Oh, now you have a bunch of potions. Yeah, I don't know what was up with, with that. I'm pretty sure I can only get Chasm Creeper. Really? 
I mean, it's it's oh, just about a week away. All right, can we get some actual sleep? Austin or Australia? Oh, wow. That's, that's a journey. That is absolutely a journey, goodness. Oh, I mean, if you can pull off a last minute flight and you got free lodging, shit, do it. Oh no, Lazelle's gonna be mad at us. I mean, I, I did it on a whim, so I don't know if I'm the best. Uh, communes with Lazars. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. Orpheus, Gith's only son. He lives. It is not the Gith visitor that Vlakith would destroy and Voss would set free. It if you do it, let me know. The blood of the mother, the prince of the comet. Listen close. The Emperor spoke only in half truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Lacketh. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother sure. Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons. Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. Our current Vlakith has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's only son. He led his mother's own honor guard in a coup against Vlakith I. It was Kithrak Vos himself who slayed the prince in vicious battle. Or so the Varshis teach us. Yet the prince of the comet's been with us. Subdued by that repugnant illithid. Should Orpheus go free, yeah, how many hours would that be for you? To pieces and build new glory from the scraps. Orpheus is not mm. just a Gith Yankee, it's eight and a half hours direct for me. Every word Voss spoke, he spoke true. Orpheus is the living proof of the Queen's lies, and the living weapon that conquered our gay slavers. One word from his lips, and the people would doubt. Two words, and they would rage. Three oh yeah, words, I will get on this plane and, and go to sleep. Bow to the true heir. If the Githyank here to be free, the Prince of the Comet must lead the way. So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact or astral prism the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. It matters little now. 
I do not serve Is it 12 there anymore. and 12 back? Not the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Fine. What's on your mind? Damn. How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. Yeah, it depends on your choices when when you are in the Gauntlet of Shar. All right, let's talk to Gale, and then for really real, we're gonna go to Baldur's Gate, and I'm gonna call it because it is almost ten for me. Gale, where the fuck are you? No, really, Gale, where are you? Gale. Friendo, pal, where are you? Gail, why the fuck are you way back here? Oh no, Mandy. Pool, eh? A mind flayer manipulating us this whole time. Such creatures are not to be trusted as a general rule, though this one does appear to have had a significant hand in our survival up to this point. At best, an ally whose motivations remain shrouded in deceit. We should be wary of what such an alliance may cost us. There's nothing that would give me greater pleasure. Gail is always on some weirdo ass corner of the camp. I was gonna put a screenshot in group chat and I realized Pirate is nowhere near where I'm at. Well We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves and take their nether stones. Oh the Gur. I forgot all about them. Also, my former peers will be watching, no doubt, waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us, or they could kill you, Shadowheart. All right, night, Leela. Thank you for popping in. It was so good to see you when I was in town. Yeah, I'm not going to be on much longer. Because I do have a early webinar at work tomorrow, so probably no stream in the morning. Thank you. I'm just a cat. Don't look at me. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. Mom. Okay, three is a very Astarian answer. But also, this black and gold outfit, though. But, um, I'm... I don't oh, know Gail where to disapproved. go. A tad harsh, don't you think? Our fire will be no cooler just for sharing it with a child in oh, need. Oh, Jesus, Gail. Guards blow like petards. They don't help us. 
she better? It's getting really sad in here. Wow. I do not understand why the matrons, sorry, patriarchs of the city do not open their gates to the refugees. I was not suggesting they be allowed to roam free. Wow. They should be put to work. The city needs laborers and father to protect it. Wow, Minthara. I am suggesting they be fed and sheltered and that they work in return. Call it whatever you wish. Perhaps you think it would be better for them to starve or be slaughtered here wow. while the citizens hide behind their walls. Well. That was certainly a choice. That was certainly a conversation. That was a conversation. I, uh, wow. Oh, yes, please take your sword back, Jesus. So that was a whole conversation. Into position. No, I can't trust your ass out of here. Step quick. <clears throat> because one <clears throat> one thing I didn't do was find the gur that were over here. Oh, these are barracks. I cannot probably go in here. Yeah, pro that's the flaming fist. I probably can't go in there. I don't know anything about the girl. All right. No, incapable. Not for you to know. Oh no, does this ox want to mate? I am afraid of this question.
come close. Your mind to mine. What the fuck? Oh no. It's the terrible ox. What the fuck is wrong with you? Not a busybody. You ought to use me as an example, or you might get yourself in trouble. Oh, I've seen the fight. I don't know why, it just amuses me. Actually, before we part ways, I wonder if I could appeal to you for a little favor. I need to get into the city, but it's hard to shuffle your way to the front of the queue when you're, well, big as an ox. But what if I were smaller, more discreet? Maybe then a kind soul might bring me through, right in their little pocket. Wow, maybe some kind soul, but not me. That's a very Astarian answer, though. Pity. I would have looked upon you with mercy if the time for such things ever came to pass. I... This game, y'all... Gail, what did you find? Okay, I heard the nature check in the die roll, but what did you find, Gail? What do your what do your mage eyes see? Oh no. I've seen the fight with the with the ox um earlier in the game. There's no tiefling kid here. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has our lady forsaken you? I know the truth. I know my parents still live. Tell me where they are, and I have no quarrel with you. I'm afraid the quarrel is unavoidable, thanks to you. Now I must report your reappearance. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Though, if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. What, the ox? You have some form of doing so, after all. Young lady, Shadowheart, a word. 
Hope's just calling me. Wait a minute, who the hell comes? Stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Ah, oh, another visitor, I see. Listen, we keep letting the likes of you in, Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. Oh. Excuse me. I was born inside the city walls, a Baldarian through and through. Wherever you're from, clearly they don't teach manners. You and I have nothing more to say to one another. Okay, then. I'm pretty sure the guard would look up down upon us. The oh, excess good. of refugees outside the city walls could easily become a surplus of laborers. Careful, Minthara. As a drow exile, you could be classed as a refugee yourself. Not volunteering, I take it. <laughs> I am a daughter of House Bainray. I obey no authority except my own desires. I can think of at least one wriggly stowaway who might dispute that. Wow, she said that like she doesn't have a fucking stowaway. Uh, feel free to send it. I may not see it till tomorrow, though, because it is getting late for me. <gasps> Biscotti! Oh, oh, God! How are they going to see it? What happens if they don't see it? Scotty, look at the little blood wiggle. Yes, oh goodness, yes, I am a good dog. Fantastic stuff. Oh, yes, you're lovely. You can come back. I apologize for my husband and his obsession with that bloody dog. What was that, my dear? Nothing, darling. No, I'm afraid I must insist you do not pet the hound. My love, you can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All the grabbing and touching startles poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. Oh, trust me. Your eyes say it all. Everyone wants to pet him. Some of us don't. Oh. Whatever the dog thinks, being here is much better than being out there. Right, my dear? Well, the children can be a touch grabby, but... Yes. You're quite right, my darling. War is no place for a precious little baby like Biscotti after all. Okay. I've never come this way. I think the girl up this way. I want to save Biscotti from these people. I think we're going to save in this weird little area of, of Rivington. I look for the Gur because I think it'll be funny to keep finding the Gur. Oh, there they are. <gasps> There's Alma. I found them. 
Well, now we need to save. All right, let's do this. I'll take my sleepy ass to bed. Well, we can raid Jahara. She's on Baldur's Gate. The next urchin that tries to pick my pocket will lose its hand. Half of the children here are already mutilated by poverty and starvation. Wow. I am reminded of the Brayran, the stench streets of Menzoberanzen, where the sick and the outlawed make their homes. Despite the destitution, there is profit and opportunity to be found in such places, if one is willing to wade through the squalor. Jesus. From the still, dark waters of Lake Donegarten to the Black Academies of Tearbresh, it is a city of wonders and terror. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown only the terror. For my people, to reject Lolth is to reject life. I am an apostate and would be executed. Though I am proud, I prefer exile to death. Okay. Huh. I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainry. I lived a life of privilege and danger. My home was at the tallest point of Kuel Arzor, the place of the nobles, a plateau high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the Underdark or stolen from the surface. And I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. When I came of age, she tried to take my life herself. And I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. <laughs> she taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted, literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. I expect it will live up to its legend. All right, I'm actually going to leave the gur for next stream because I am suddenly super sleepy. Um, so do you want more Baldur's Gate or do you want to see System Shock? Hey, Nyx, you have arrived just as I'm getting ready to call it a night because I'm getting sleepy and it's uh, past 10 for me. Sorry about that. Um, no one has answered me, so let's go raid Bronze. She's playing System Shock. Minus 
Sara. Right. So if you're a sub, use the Barry emote. If you're not a sub, use a high howdy emote you have. And I'll probably see you Thursday before work. Tomorrow starts early, and then um, Eugenio, DM Jazzy Hands, will be on with some puzzles in the evening. Um, so yeah, let's go see what Bronze is doing System Shock, and I'll see y'all in a couple days. Bye, y'all.